How's it going everybody? It's the Sketch Monkey here and welcome back to the channel. In this video we're gonna have a look at one of the coolest cars ever made and that would be the 1965 Lincoln Continental, the ultimate land yacht cruiser car. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're going to redesign the whole car. What makes this car special is the the volume and proportions of the car and that's what I want to keep in the redesign. It also has this presence and the the cool factor is just off the charts and that's what I want to dig even deeper in and create a car that in you know the the the, the vision that I have is it could be a car for the mayor of Gotham City. Very dark and sinister art deco style in there and very strict clean lines that are true to the 60s era. So what I want to do, let's let's just show you quickly here what I want to do in this design brief. I want to keep this long line that goes right here. And you see these fenders here? These frame the front end in a such a cool way so the front end and the light assembly and the grill and all of this this it sits kind of inside of the car in between these massive fenders right here so that's something that I want to keep I want to extend the lower part of the bumper down a little bit add some side definition to these to the to the end of the corners right there and for the wheels, of course, I want to move them out. I want them to be flush, at least, with the body of the car so that we have the spokes right here. Maybe not make them too aggressive. I want to have them clean and stylish, but at the same time, a lot more modern than the wheels that we have on here right now. I also want to extend this, the, the wheelhouse here, so extend it up so that we can see the entire wheel right here. And that means we have to change the body of the car. We're also going to remove every single chrome piece on this car because I want it to be... I want it to have kind of like this dark feel uh, to it and uh, dark and cool. That's Those are the two key words that I want to go with with this redesign. I'm not sure if I want to keep the round headlights here because to me these headlights, they are very symbolic for... or they are very, you know... Uh, 60s and 70s so if we're going to update that I want to have a look at uh, some art deco style to the headlights and very simplistic and keep it in line with all of the lines that we have on the car so we have a bunch of long unbroken lines and 90 de 90 degrees curvatures or edges and that's what I want to try to implement in the headlights as well. So simple lines, simple curvatures, and consistent angles is what we're going for right here. So we have a lot of work to do. Let's jump in and start doing this redesign of this 1965 Lincoln Continental and let's see how this is going to turn out. The Lincoln Continental is a series of mid-sized and full-size luxury cars produced by Lincoln, a division of the American automaker Ford Motor Company. The model line was introduced following the construction of a personal vehicle for Edsel Ford, who commissioned a coach-built 1939 Lincoln Zephyr convertible, developed as a vacation vehicle to attract potential Lincoln buyers. In production for over 55 years across nine decades, Lincoln has produced 10 generations of the Continental. Within the Lincoln model line, the Continental has served several roles ranging from its flagship to its base trim sedan. From 1961 to 1976, Lincoln sold the Continental as its executive model line. And the model line has also gone on hiatus three times. From 1949 to 1955, the nameplate was briefly retired. In 1981, the Continental was renamed the Lincoln Town Car to accommodate the 1982 seventh generation Continental. After 2002, the Continental was retired, largely replaced by the Lincoln MKS in 2009, but brought back in 2007 with the 10th generation Continental, replacing the MKS. In this video, we're going to focus on the 1965 model of the Continental. The Lincoln Continental began life as a personal vehicle for Ford Motor Company president Edsel Ford. 
In 1938, Ford commissioned a one-off design he wanted ready for his March 1939 vacation in Florida from company chief stylist Eugene Gregory. Gregory sketched a design for a convertible with a redesigned body, and allegedly the initial sketch for this design was completed in just an hour. The design for the first prototype was based on the 1939 Lincoln Zephyr. Although the vehicle wore a conventional windshield profile, the prototype sat nearly 7 inches lower than a standard Lincoln. With the massive decrease in height, the running boards were deleted entirely. In contrast to the Zephyr, the hood sat almost level with the fenders. To focus on the styling of the car, the chrome trim on the car was largely restricted to the grille. Instead of door handles, push buttons opened the doors. And just like the Lincoln Zephyr, the prototype was fitted with a V12 engine. The design of the Lincoln Continental would introduce two long-running features used in many American car designs. The modified body gave the design new proportions over its Zephyr counterpart, with the hood line sitting lower over the V12 engine and the passenger compartment moved rearward. The prototype had more in common with classic era long hood, short deck body configurations. As a consequence of the smaller trunk space, the spare tire was mounted behind the trunk while disappearing on American cars. The externally mounted covered spare tire remained a feature on European produced cars. The prototype designed by Gregory was produced on time, making the deadline to be delivered to Edsel Ford in Florida for his vacation. An interest from well off friends was high. Edsel sent a telegram back to Michigan that he could sell a thousand of these Lincoln Continentals. In reference to its European-inspired design, the Lincoln-based prototype received its name, Continental. For the 1964 model, the Lincoln Continental underwent its first mid-cycle redesign. Alongside styling updates, several functional changes were focused towards increasing rear seat space. The wheelbase was also increased from 123 to 126 inches, shifting the rear seats backward. The roofline underwent several changes with the adoption of flat side glass replacing curved window glass. To increase rear headroom, the rear roofline became additionally squared off. For 1965, Lincoln made additional updates to the Continental. In a styling change, the convex electrical shaver front fascia was replaced by a more angular blunt hood with an upright flat grille design. As part of the redesign, the front turn signals and parking lights were moved from the front bumpers to wrap around lenses on the front fenders, with similar parking light turn signals on the rear end. All four lights received a metal trim to match the horizontal lines of the new grille. To improve braking ability, the Continental was giving disc brakes for the 1965 model, for the front wheels, and in addition, front seat belts with the retractors became standard. Now, all that's left to do here in this redesign is a minor, some minor details such as the grille and some of the uh, shading and reflections. I want to keep it matte because it suits this car so well, and I'm really happy with the end result of this redesign. All that's left now is to show you the before and after of the car and show you of course the final product. So there we have it, that's the redesign of the 1965 Lincoln Continental, keeping the land yacht proportions of the car while still updating every single aspect of it. So what I wanted to do is keep the, the main proportions of the car and the main styling uh, elements of the car. And to me, the styling for this specific car is very horizontal mixed with vertical lines, and those are connected with 90 degree angles in a lot of spaces. And that, that creates this brick or platform style. And now that I look at it, it makes me wonder if this could be a good electric car, since obviously you can fit a ton of batteries underneath the, the shell of this car. And maybe it will make it even more stealthy, because to me this is a very stealthy looking car. 
Anyway, thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me today. I'm the Sketch Monkey. I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy. Thank <laughs> you.